Hi friends, I'm Ellie and this is TechTrix channel. Google Sheets progress bar is one of the best and easiest way to keep track of your progress. It provides an easy tree chart that allows you to visualize your task. Unfortunately, Google Sheets doesn't allow you to create this bar in a cell. Today I want to show you a solution to create this amazing bar in a cell in Google Sheets. Let's see. Google Sheets sparkling function may be the right solution if you need quick visual aids for analyzing your spreadsheet data without building complete charts. With this function, you can easily create mini charts inside individual cells to visualize your data quickly. Let's create these amazing charts. Here I have a spreadsheet for my sales report. In my table, I have the sales report for 2019 to 2022. I want to visualize these data with charts. I start with a bar chart. So equal sign, sparkline function, and open parentheses. This function has two parts. Data, which refers to the range of values I want to plot, and option, which is an optional argument that a variety of settings can be specified such as chart type, for example, column, line, bar, and other options. So my data range is the sales amount for each year. Now, comma. For option, you should notice that conditions should be positioned inside curly braces. In addition, options are enclosed in double quotes, but there is no need to add the double quotes to numbers or true false settings. And commas should be used to separate options and values. And semicolons are used to separate multiple options value pairs. So carry braces. I need the chart type option in double quotes, comma, bar in double quotes. Then semicolons to add the next option. I can choose only two colors. So color one red and color two green when i press enter you can see the bar chart is created in a cell i can also create a bar chart for each value and define a maximum value along the horizontal axis let's create equal sign a sparkling function now for data range, I select just data of 2019. And now I should define options. Chart type, bar. Color one. Now I can type the name of the color in double quotes or the hex code of the color. I have the hex code of the color pink. I copy and paste it here and press F4 to fix it. And now I define a max value. For example, 50. As you can see, the bar is created. And now I copy the formula for the other cells. As you see, this was a very easy way to create a bar chart in a cell in your spreadsheets. Now let's create a line chart. Equal sign. I select the range. Now for options, the chart type is line. I want a chart in blue. And I want to define tree for line width. Okay, my chart is created. As you can see, this is a blue line chart with a line width of 3. If I change it to 5, it becomes thicker. Now for the column chart, as before, I choose the range Then for chart type, column,
And I can have three types of color here. Color, I type red. Low color, green. And high color, blue. And the chart is created. I can even put the chart options into a table that will be referenced in the function instead of hard coding them into the formula. I add chart type and colors to a table. Now I type the formula. And for the options part, I select the table. With this method, the options can be changed easily. This is practically helpful if you want to try out different options to see what you like best. For example, I change the colors to see which one is better. Alright, here is my tutorial finished and you'll learn how to create this amazing chart in a cell in Google Sheets. If you like this tutorial, please hit the thumbs up and do subscribe in case you're not subscribed yet. If you're a Google Sheets user, this playlist may help you a lot. Thanks for watching. Have a good time.